This video describes my Raspberry Pi shutdown button. The idea is to have a button that you can press to initiate a shutdown when you're away from the console or you don't have a keyboard plugged in. The only thing that you need to make your own is a simple momentary push button switch and a little bit of code that I'll describe shortly. To begin, let's look at how to connect up the hardware. So I've chosen to plug into pins 25 and 26 of the GPIO header. GPIO 7 is at pin 26 and ground is at pin 25. So all we need to do is to connect the button to those two pins, like so. And when the button is pressed, it'll be effectively grounded, pulling GPIO pin 7 to 0 volts. A nice thing about using GPIO 7 is it doesn't matter which version of the Raspberry Pi you have, the position will still be the same. So on the original Model A's and B's, we can connect pin 25 and 26 and get the same result. On these 26 pin headers, it's even easier to locate the pins because they're right on the very end of the header. So let's take a look at the code that makes the Raspberry Pi shutdown button work. So here I am locked up, uh, logged into my Raspberry Pi and it's running Raspbian and I've created a directory to hold the code for the off button so I'm just going to cc into that. And all we have here is a log file and the script that we want to look at. So let's pop it up in a text editor. Okay, it's a bash script, a whole lot of comments at the top, including giving some credit to various sources of where I got some useful information from. So these top lines here are really just to make sure that the output of this script gets redirected to the aforementioned log file so that we have a record. Uh, this is particularly important when the script's running unattended because it's useful to have a log file to know what went wrong. Uh, this makes sure that the error output from this script gets redirected to a standard output. And this line here makes sure that, well, whatever gets directed to standard output gets written to a file as well as to the console. So what does this do? Well really the first line of active code uh, launches a Python script and the Python script sets up the GPIO pins and uh, in particular sets up GPIO 7 as an input and it enables the pull-up resistor, the internal pull-up resistor. So when no button's being pressed, this GPIO 7 will be pulled up to 3.3 volts. And then when the uh, button is pressed, it'll get pulled down to 0 volts. And so it's that falling edge that we're going to detect. So here's some code I found uh, in this question on Stack Exchange. And essentially what this does is wait for that falling edge. So it waits for the button press. And then it samples uh, every 100 milliseconds for 20 periods, so essentially for two seconds, and make sure that that button has been held down. If that button has been held down, then uh, it breaks out of this loop and cleans up the GPIO data, GPIO library, and then we're done. And the last thing that happens is that sudo halt is called to halt the machine. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, the idea here with the sampling for two seconds is to make sure that the button is held down for a decent period of time. So back at the command line and what we want to do is to make that script executable so we can run it. So we can go chermod u plus x and the script is called wait for power off button .sh, so I'll just do that and that makes it executable for the owner of the file 
in that case, it's uh, in this case it's the Pi user. Now that it's executable, we could actually go ahead and run that script like this, and it would run interactively just fine. But what we'd like is for the script to run whenever the computer is powered up. So at reboot time, we'd like it to run. It'll just sit there waiting for that button press indefinitely, and then when that button press for two seconds occurs, then it will start to halt the machine. So how do we do that? Well, we can just add a line in our cron tab. So if I type cron tab hyphen E, it will allow me to edit my personal cron tab, the cron tab for the Pi user. And as I scroll down, you'll see I've just added a line here. And that line says, at reboot, run this script. So run the home Pi off button, wait for power off button.sh script. That way that script is started when the machine is booted up. It'll just continue to run there in the background, locked in that little Python code, until such time as the button is pressed for two seconds in total, and then it'll commence the shutdown. So that's it. Follow these simple instructions and you'll be able to shut down your Raspberry Pi on the go with the press of a button.